Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all safe and well. I received my M Toys Joker today from ToysWonderland.com, and yes, I have unboxed and reviewed this already on the channel, but that was Nick's figure, so I finally got my own version now. And I'm just having some fun with him, just uh, tweaking him straight out of the box, just getting those uh, kind of cufflinks to come through underneath the coat there. And that's the first pose of Dinos, just swapping out the hands to the Hot Toys DX11 hands, at least the ones that I had spare anyway. So I'm just having some fun with him, I'm going to get ready to put him on display with the other versions. Maybe talk about those a little bit, got the Toys Era version here, and now the M Toys version. Still waiting for my Toy Center red suit to arrive. I uh, hope that turns up soon, but I understand with all the delays, so... Hope you guys are okay during these pretty scary times. I'm trying my best to keep you guys uh, entertained, as a lot of these YouTubers are. Trying to get it out there for you, just keep your mind off, uh, you know, well, you got to keep your mind on it also, but nice to have a little distraction. So, big thanks to ToysWonderland.com for the awesome service. And here is the cool little card. Got me a little, uh, got me some vouchers, not vouchers, uh, coupons or points, like money off my next purchase. So, yeah, check out ToysWonderland.com and they can get you the goods. Look at that. Taxi driver kind of vibes there, just walking. Hands in his pockets. I found some other hands. Just rocking those. Just for the pockets pose. He's just walking. Well. I've always thought that this particular head sculpt by M Toys looks at its best when he's looking down. I just think it looks freaking cool. Isn't too bad looking up either. Is he going to fall? Don't fall. That you can fall if you want. I recently did repaint the Toys Era gun because it is die cast and very nice, but the handle was black, the same as the rest here. And I do believe in the film it looked like in the moment when he, uh, what's that name? Yeah, the guy, Roy, Ray, whatever, the guy kills later on. And he gives him the gun in the bag and it looks like it's got the kind of wood grain, that kind of brown wood handle. So I just painted that, which would be good. Bit more movie accurate. Put it in his hand. Get him holding the gun. Yeah, this is a really nice pose. Like you saw in the review I did on this guy a couple of weeks back. He looks amazing when he's sitting in a chair. Shame I don't have something a bit more similar to the chair he's sitting in on the Murray Franklin show, but it's getting it done. This is the DX11 Hot Toys Joker. That's the chair that comes with the whole interrogation room diorama setup. Which, again, he looks awesome in that full diorama as well. I'm holding the mask in one hand there. Holding the modified Toys Era die-cast gun. These are jumping out at me a bit. Need to repaint these. So I'll probably get on the case with that pretty soon. I was going to change the shirt to the Toys Era one. But it's a lot of trouble to go to for something I'm not even sure if I'd like. So I may just stick with the stock outfit for now. I'm still waiting for that Toy Center red suit to turn up. So once that gets here and I dye that a more accurate color, hopefully that will work. And then I'll see what I can do as far as mixing and matching all different parts to try and create the ultimate Joker. But I really like the way this one looks, especially in this pose. It's really cool. Put plenty of pictures on Instagram of this guy today. Just posing them up, so to check that out. Instagram, Dean Knight Free Free Free. Follow your boy. Now, see, that looks way too classy. How could you not have that set up like that? Let me just turn these lights up for you. We'll see what's happening. There you go. Did there be light? Yeah, that's how that's going to look for a little while. <laughs> Keep the bathroom scene joker that I put together myself in the middle. Did the hair on him, repainted the face, and yeah, need to repaint this, completely repaint that, that's a little project coming up soon. Need to redo the hair on him and redo his hair that comes down on his forehead as well. Need to redo that with the proper stuff I borrowed from Nick. And yeah, see what happens once I get the, the Toy Center outfit, but that's how that's going to look for now. I'll definitely bring you some more videos on the Joker action soon once I do a few more little tweaks and mods and swaps and stuff like that. And that looks 
pretty damn cool. All right, guys. Um, if you're watching this like a year from now, then hopefully everything's calmed down. And at the time of me filming this, the coronavirus is everywhere and things are getting really bad. Keep safe and big love to all you guys out there. Hope you enjoy the videos just as they're coming out. Give you guys something to watch. Keep you distracted for a little while, but also, you know, keep yourself informed and don't just go to one source for information. You know. Anyway, <laughs> try not to bring it down. Keep the vibe up. All right. Yeah. So there you go. There's uh, Toys Center. No, uh, M Toys. That's M Toys Joker and uh, Toys Era. Pretty heavily modified as well. So. Thanks for watching guys, keep safe, I'll see you soon, take it easy, big love to all you guys out there, thanks for all your support on the channel, thanks for your friendship, I'll see you Sunday for the live stream, 8pm uh, UK time, I've spoken with another YouTuber to see if he would be uh, up for doing the live stream with me, well not the whole thing, but you know like I do, just like half an hour, 45 minutes, just talking with another collector about stuff, and I've got someone in the pipeline for this Sunday, but they're not 100% confirmed yet, he uh, got a big time difference going on, so I'll just say uh, he's from Canada. So I might narrow it down a little bit for some of you wondering who it is. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been nice having people on the live streams, just chatting and stuff. It makes things a bit more interesting for me. Uh, so far, we've had Glenn Page from Cult Creations, the guy who makes the amazing dioramas. And I had Carl from Toys of Arkham, awesome photographer, collector. He was on last Sunday, so this Sunday should be cool. All right, so there is M Toys Joker, looking awesome in the chair. Big thanks again to toyswonderland.com for awesome service. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe, check me out on Instagram and Facebook at the Night Free Free Free. See you real soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.